2021. 2021 is coming to an end, so it's time to get ready for 2022. In this video, I will show you how I have set up my bullet journal for 2022. For 2022, I'm gonna use uh, a notebook by Scribble and Dot, the Honeybee one, which uh, I love. I've never used uh, a notebook by Scribble and Dot, but since I've heard uh, amazing things about their products, I really wanted to try at least one. So here it is. The first page is a classical one where you can write down your name and uh, when you've started uh, this notebook, but you won't see me setting it up because I don't know why I never used this page at all. The following pages are again pages that I won't set up because I simply don't use them. I know by memory my keys and uh, the color code and I've never used that index. so. Just letting you know that they are in this notebook, but I won't use them and you won't see me setting up anything there. A thing that I love about this notebook is that at the end there are some pages called pen test where you can literally try out all of your pens just to see how the paper is gonna react to them. As you can see, this is not a real-time Plan With Me video, for one simple reason, I didn't want to put up a, a video that was that long, because if I wouldn't have sped up things a little bit, believe me, I think that by tomorrow you will be still sitting here watching it. For this setup, I really didn't have a theme in my mind, so I just decided to try something uh, without really having an idea and it turned out that my team it's a scrapbooking one with flowers and butterflies it wasn't planned and uh, maybe it's not the best one but I end up liking how it turned out take this as a warning I make a lot of mistakes so you're gonna see me going through a whole process of making them and trying to fix them but apparently even if I hate them I am not capable of doing a single page without a mistake or two. My plan for this setup was to use uh, a green pen. There's not a real reason. Maybe it's only because uh, for me green means hope. I don't know if I'm the only one, but it's okay. I'm weird, I know it. But then uh, I didn't like how the title turned out, so I had to try to fix it, and maybe I didn't really actually fix it by doing whatever I did. But I've ended up changing it to blue, and you're gonna see me doing it later. As you can see here, there's a missing part, and that's because uh, my lovely camera, which is a little bit old and probably also that's the reason why, decided to stop recording. And this wasn't the only moment uh, I had a problem or two with it, so I've ended up using my phone after the cover page to record everything. As you can see here, I've decided to use this uh, 
washi tape full of butterflies uh, has a sticker one so I've simply cut out the butterflies and uh, used them as a normal sticker and I absolutely love this washi tape, it's so beautiful. So here you can see me trying to cover up uh, the title with uh, some craft paper. Something went wrong between the zero and the two, but it's okay. I didn't want to use the left page uh, as a quote page and I didn't even want to write uh, a word for the year because I never do that. So I simply decided to use uh, some more paper and stickers and uh, stamp and uh, I've just came out with a simple page. That question is uh, still in my mind. Where did 2021 go? Because uh, for me, 2021 was a different year. Like, uh, I didn't realize uh, that time was going by. For me, it seems like yesterday was January, and now it's almost over, the whole year. I didn't realize summer went by, I I don't know, I just lost track of time this year, I guess. And so, for me, it was uh, a real question to write down there. As you can see for the future log I've decided to create uh, a Dutch door because uh, I didn't want to write the title more than once. Yes, I'm lazy and I know it. And uh, I've used uh, some, uh, some of this paper full of flowers which is so beautiful and uh, my lovely clear stamps uh, full of butterflies.
As you can see, I've had uh, a few problems uh, with uh, the clear stamps, but at the end it turned out fine, so it's okay. My next page is gonna be my period tracker. I'm sorry for the bad quality, but I don't know why for a few seconds uh, it's gonna be like this. My phone didn't want to be probably good at recording it, I don't know. And I've decided to call this page I'm a lady. I've written down uh, on the left side the uh, days of the month and uh, the first uh, letter of each month. If you're not gonna realize why some letters are different, it's simple because I wrote them down in Italian. It's gonna be extremely simple to use. I will just color the little rectangle every time uh, I get my period. Nothing too complicated.
the next page is gonna be my migraine tracker it's important for me to have it next to my period tracker to see if the two things are connected or not I've been suffering with migraines since I was little this is a very simple one because for kids I literally have uh, another one notebook that it has been giving me by the doctors that are following me so I don't want to have anything that's let's say this one it's uh, a simple one I'm just gonna color according to whether I'm gonna have uh, a strong attack or if I'm gonna take a pill or another to let's say feel to be better nothing to complicate it as I've said it's a simple one so I don't write anything such as uh, um, what the level of the pain or if I had any symptoms before or after because I already have something for that and there wasn't a point to recreate the exact thing in here. My next page is my workout tracker. It's the same exactly structure of my previously two trackers, so it's pointless for me to explain how it how this one works but I just want to tell you that this is the simpler version while in each single month I also write down what part of my body I've trained uh, that day in this case it's just uh, I worked out yes I colored I didn't I don't In this way, I can see if there has been a period of the year in which I didn't work out that much and uh, this can be extremely important also because uh, while working out uh, I am capable of lowering uh, my stress level and stress is my biggest enemy when it comes to migrants so it's important for me to keep it under control.
and then it's time for my last time high. In this page, I simply write down some different activities that usually you don't do a lot and I'll write down when was the last time I've done that thing, such as for example last time I've cleaned the car or the fridge, things like that. In this way I will be able to see when it was the last time I've done it and in this way I'll also know when it's gonna be time to do it again. This page is incredibly important for me, but at the same time I know it's the same page that's gonna make me cry at the end of the year when I'm gonna look back at it, with no doubts. It's my outcomes page.
were down how much I've spent each single month divided uh, in three different sections. So how much I've spent in uh, physical stores, online, and taxes and bills. And uh, at the end I will make, uh, I will leave a little section to write uh, how much I've spent in the whole month and at the end of the year, in the whole year. I know this can be a sad page to look back at it, but I think it's incredibly important to know where you put your money. This year I've decided to do also a social media tracker, if you want to call it in this way. I'm gonna just write down how many followers I have on Instagram and YouTube at the beginning of the year and uh, how many I'm gonna have at the end of each single month and then I can see how many followers I've gained or I've lost through all here.
and now it's time to work uh, on my lattice spread which is gonna be my passwords one I have uh, way too many passwords to remember and so this can be incredibly helpful Now it's finally time to show you how my 2020 setup came out. The question that I have for you today is, uh, have you already set up your bullet journal for the new year? If yes, write it down in the comment and let me also know what theme you decided to go for. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.